A Universal Interactive Studios production. Developed by Traveler's Tales. Crash Bandicoot! The Wrath of Cortex! Hello, I'm McKinney and all of you and welcome to the first episode of Crash Bandicoot The Wrath of Cortex! Yay! So, yeah, We're I am McKinney to... and I'll eat your soul. And I will I input my name while everyone else introduces themselves. <laughs> I am the Game Corner HD, and I suck at Pokemon Nuzlocks. I'm Whiplash, and uh, I suck at Sonic Eraser. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that's uh, I think that's a given at this point. Everybody uh, sucks at Sonic Sel Eraser. Selby told me personally that I suck. Selby did, Selby did a drunk Let's Play of it, you know. <laughs> Christ. Yeah, he's like, I got through this while I was drunk, and I'm like, well, see, there's two things. You made this, so you know where everything is. <laughs> and I had no idea. <laughs> Hooray for me not knowing anything about Nothing Crash Bandicoot. Bandicoot. Oh, God. <laughs> Cortex is evil, and he plans to kill Crash. That's all you need to know. Isn't that the plot of every game? Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, so why does Cortex hate Crash? Because yeah. Cortex created Crash in the first game, and he was a failed experiment, and he wants to sort of stop it from existing, I guess. Uh, that, doesn't Crash have a sister? Yeah, Coco. And in the first game, he had a very uh, busty girlfriend. <laughs> what happened to her? Sure she was happened. too busty for the future games. <laughs> Out of your eyes, what happened? So how is Coco anthropomorphic then? Or are they just always anthropomorphic? Yeah, well, apparently that's just how the Evolvo Ray works. <laughs> oh, okay, so he pointed it at her? Uh, okay. Well, th they were created with the Evolve all right, but the problem was they were immune to the Cortex Vortex, which is supposed to mu to uh, brainwash them and make them evil and stuff. Okay. Apparently Crash is completely immune to mind control, and that's where the plot of Mind Over Mutant took off. Apparently he oh. was immune to the Envy, but don't even get me started on Mind Over Mutant. Oh okay. God! <laughs> yeah, you yeah you remember me and Burton playing that the other uh, yes. week. <laughs> You're like, do you want to play? I'm like, no. Hey, do you want to play one of the worst Crash Bandicoot games ever made? Sure, why not? <laughs> no, that's like walking up to a person that's on the sidewalk. It's like, hey, do you want me to shoot you in the face, stab <laughs> you a billion times, and then hey, look, there was something on, on you. your face. It was pain. <laughs> Lots of it. <laughs> God, Cortex looks awful in this game. Yeah, that's Coco, by the way. Hi, Coco. Uh, uh, the graphics Coco. of the Xbox version of the game are a lot better than the PS2 and GameCube versions. Crash actually has fur rendered. <laughs> the Xbox was a powerhouse for its time. Yeah. And, well, that's why we're playing the Xbox version, so yeah. Yay. But for all intents and purposes, this game is basically the same plot. It basically operates exactly the same as Crash 3 with a very similar plot. Unlike Crash Bandicoot 2, which makes platforms in, in a new way, <laughs> Crash, Castlevania Symphony of Night just delivers more of the same. I base this solely on the fact that it's a 2D Castlevania game and not on any of the massive notable differences between this and the previous one. <laughs> the, the reason, by the way, that this is basically the same thing as Crash 3 is the original uh, Traveler's Tales originally wanted to make a open-world Crash game very much like Twin Sanity turned out. But then there were licensing issues, and Naughty Dog quit, and then it all just went downhill from there, and they had to start making a game from scratch in a period of six months. Wow. <laughs> now, this is a rushed game that turned out good. Take notes, Sega. <coughs> oh, six. <laughs> like, th this was a serious rush. And I'd say it turned out pretty well for an early PS2 and Xbox game. And then they went yeah. on to make Twin Sanity, which is, I assume, what they wanted to do with this. Nevertheless, this is pretty fun, and the reason we're playing it first is to segue into Twin Sanity, because there's actually some 
continuity there, albeit very little of it. <laughs> by the way, that mask is voiced by the guy who plays Luke Skywalker. I forget his name at the moment. Mark, Mark Hamill. Hamill. Mark Hamill. Yeah, he's that. That mask is voiced oh, by Mark Hamill. Mask. I am your father. No, that doesn't. All, that all, doesn't make any sense. No, that wasn't even Mark <laughs> Hamill. <laughs> Oh no, no. Hey, do you have a Joker do... impression? <laughs> I've got a Joker impression. God damn it. Damn it. Hey Joe, you were, did you ever watch the Hero Factory series? No. Von Nebula was voiced by Dark uh, by Mark Hamill. Uh. <laughs> I never expected that. Wait, wait, wait. Is this character we're talking about a girl? No. Or a guy. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> Why would Mark Hamill voice a girl? Uh, yeah, really. Because... I mean, I know he can make his voice kind of high, but... Look at that know. fur! Look at all that fur! Wow, that is a lot of fur. The uh, long-ass cutscene is long, by the way. Uh, ah, yeah. long cat. Long-ass cutscene is long cat. <laughs> I'm gonna have to put I'm gonna have to put custom subtitles on Who's this scene when we go to do the, the video. Uh huh. <laughs> oh, that picture in the background that was uh, the busty girlfriend. That's what I thought it was. <laughs> yeah, they they make reference to her in other games, but she never actually appears. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll put references. By the way, but... take a good look at this chamber, which is supposed to be the hub world, because it's never actually used as the hub world. <laughs> Really? <laughs> yeah, you'll see what the actual... Hub this is supposedly the portal, but it's not actually THE portal. It's just the portal to the portal, I guess. That is the worst rendered ponytail I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the thing about the game is that the Xbox version doesn't have many more polygons than the PS2 version, but they try and up the quality of the textures and certain special effects. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna have to put subtitles on all this, by the way, because <laughs> we were oh, talking through the whole thing. Subtitles? No, but I'm gonna have to put my own in because we were talking through all of it. Oh, oh goddamn! I was just about to say these people are geniuses, unlike the people who made Assassin's Creed One, who were dumb. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, this game everyone talks really low, but the music's loud and the sound effects loud. Maybe we should. Well, have it could be worse. Dope. It could be Sonic Adventure Two. Yeah. <laughs> Get me started on music louder than vocals. Oh yeah, man! I had the volume up really loud, and then Sonic Adventure Two comes. I was like, "Get it down!" And I'm like, "Oh!" <laughs> <laughs> oh god! Nothing worse than trying to hear Sonic when I'm the Eggman is playing in the background because hey, you can't bro. hear anything over that wailing guitar. <laughs> no, I don't want to save over my cracked file. I mean, what? What? <laughs> no, uh... Hi, NSA. <laughs> it, uh, yeah. No, th there's a cheat code for the ver this version of the game where if you put the name... Uh, if you put the username as um, Wombat, it'll give you all the uh, levels open. But uh, yeah, this is the actual hub world, by the way. Nothing like yeah. the one in the thing before, but yeah. <laughs> Anyways, on to the first level, Arctic Antics! Because for some reason, the first level of the jungle world is an Arctic world. Okay. The first level okay. is an Arctic, is an ice level? Yeah, and it's you part of the jungle that. world. You never see that. The first level is an ice level in the jungle world. That Okay, you definitely don't see that. But I just meant, usually the first level is like, uh... A, yeah, Green a Hill Zone over and, yeah. over and over and over and over again. No, the first level is usually a plains or jungle level. And I only say yeah. jungle because of Donkey Kong. But or usually, Rayman. Yeah, uh. you, it's never an ice Ow. level. They're always late in the game. Oh, I suck at Crash Bandicoot when I don't have the other power-ups. <laughs> There's a power up that makes you spin longer, and I thought I still had that. I don't have the double jump right now either, so awkward. Uh, if this was Sonic Colors, you'd have the double jump. Now this could uh, be uh, even better too if I had the um. Oh, what is it? Um. Oh yeah, the uh, Wumpa Cannon. There's actually a bazooka that you can unlock as a power up that can take out anything from a distance. That reminds. 
Sonic Colors double jump was so great and totally didn't make me die a bunch of times expecting to do the homing attack. I no. like the double jump in Colors and the, I'm assuming Lost World too because it's also in that. <laughs> yeah. Well, hopefully you could still do the homing attack. It's oh yeah, you can. The, uh, the homing attack is mapped to a different button now. Thank God, in Sonic Colors, I just, I kept dying trying to do it. I never had a problem in Colors. Well, I mean, it it lacks the air dash, but if you remember that it lacks the air dash, it's yeah. not a problem. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, after like 10 plus years of being used to the lack of air dash, I mean the air dash, of course <laughs> I would assume it was there. <laughs> and True. one random game, it's gone. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> We're talking about Sonic and a Crash game. Yeah, right. really. Well, okay. Well, I'm sorry, man. Crash can be fast. On. There's not uh, much going on insert, here. Insert dog. Sonic X theme here. That reminds me, Sam. Did you see that video that was uploaded by the guy who made uh, Unleashed Project the other day about um, he modified the time break skill? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gotta go that. fast. Went too fast. Yep. <laughs> Look, man. Why are those skiers trying to kill you? <laughs> or are they even trying to kill you? Nothing, they, that's with, the thing about Crash Bandicoot, or at least the early games. Nothing is actually trying to kill you. They're just minding their own business, and then Crash comes along and smacks them in the face. And if you happen to walk into them, God help you, because they're, they're instant death. I'm, so it's, it's like their fur is coated in the most deadly of poisons. It's, so it's a lot like Kirby, except they kill you one hit. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you have an Aku Aku mask, and then they kill you in two or three. Come on, like, I'm on in my own business, who kills him? <laughs> oh, of course. Oh, whoops, I accidentally killed something that was walking into me. Can you imagine whoops. if real life worked like that? You were just <laughs> walking along, you brush into something, dies. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I'm you invincible! Would be I'm, I'm so, yeah. Trying to remember an invincibility theme that isn't a Sonic one, um, and or Mario one either. Uh, I don't know. Oh. You Wait, cannot have candy one. I can't remember it right now. I do, but I can't really recite it. Uh. <laughs> Hi, I'm on a platform. Hi, platform. These bonus areas, by the way, are pretty much essential. They can be a little bit bitchy at times, but they're great for getting extra one-ups. And FYI, this game hands out one-ups like free candy. <coughs> New Super hey, Mario Bros. 2. Are you platforming? Huh? Are you platforming? Yes. Oh man, my pun was ruined because you were talking while you were on the platform. Aw. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you ruined Platforming on a platform. You. Yeah, but in addition to handing up one-ups all the time, you get a hundred Wampa Fruit, you get an extra life, too. So, there goes the life counter. Wow, eight already? This is the first level, right? Yeah. <laughs> this isn't New Super Mario Bros. 2, is it? It could Sonic be. Sonic Unleashed. <laughs> Sonic Unleashed. Sonic Unleashed doesn't hand them out like this. <laughs> it hands them hands out, out, but not like this. He yeah. gets that it's even worse in Twin Sanity. By the time I finished the game on my second playthrough, I had 68 lives. G bus. <laughs> Look, I know that New Super Mario Bros. 2, there's that. I mean, you. You, sorry. New Super Mario Bros. U. There's that level with the giant Goomba. Says at the start, and you're just like, hmm, I wonder what you could do here. And then you bounce off them. Oh, get... uh, yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, this... if you want to go that far, you could say Super Mario Galaxy is about the same, or Super Mario Galaxy 2, because in Super Massive Galaxy, you can just oh, bounce I... off of those giant Koopas indefinitely. Yeah, that's true, too. See? Every but Mario game, just about every Mario game to date has had an infinite one-ups glitch involving Koopa shells. Oh yeah, <laughs> Yoshi's Island, there's one in the Go, Go Mario level. There's a glitch in Yoshi's Island where you can eat baby Mario. Well, that's fucked up. <laughs> but what I meant... What well, I, Yoshi is a I dinosaur. Just wanted to, I just wanted to get that out there. Yoshi well, is a dinosaur, so... On the, yeah, on the Go Go Mario level, or is it Go Mario Go? Can't remember. Go Mario Point Go, it. I think. You There's this 
there's this pipe that there's two pipes right at the very start of the level yeah They're really close to each other you grab a yoshi uh koopa shell spit it out and one of the pipes spawns shy guys right uh yeah the shell just keeps killing them over <laughs> and over again well shy guys <laughs> stop getting... spawning once you get an egg oh but i see what you get in that we go with the koopa shell yeah you don't, you don't need need it. more eggs and then you just keep waiting and then you get a million lives and you're like hmm. by the way we're on a plane Oh, uh, you're on a plane? Or sort okay. of a plane. Are you- are there any snakes? Sky chase. Plane? No, but there are bandicoots. Oh, get it's... these motherfucking bandicoots off this motherfucking plane! <laughs> Sky How does that thing fly, anyways? It, it doesn't- I don't think it had any propellers. I... You just gotta believe! No. God, no, you are not Parappa the Rapper. I've never played that game, but okay. Neither have I. <laughs> Neither have I. <laughs> well, I could fuck play you that then. game. There is absolutely nothing preventing me from playing that game because it's on a console that's not that's older than the Wii. Hey, look, gimmick. So I most definitely can play it. Hey, look, look it's a gimmick. Gimmicky. Oh, is it even more gimmicky than Super Mario Galaxy 2's? Hey, hey, at least in that, at least in this, you don't control it with motion. Yes, that means it's not. <laughs> hey, I got that. You know, idea. there's a ma there's a level in, um, I think it's Sonic 2 for the Game Gear called Gimmick Mountain. Yeah, you told us before. <laughs> there are no gimmicks yeah. in that level either. No. <laughs> it's a wacky workbench in Sonic CD should have been called oh, God. something. Fuck Something that gimmick. level. Fuck that I level. <laughs> I beat that too game. Too much bouncing. I beat the game too, and, and then I'm I, never I never it got, again. I never got past the, um, uh, Vitalik Madness. And certainly not with a good future. Yeah, man. I mean, I beat that game, and then I learned that I have to beat it with good futures on everything, and I was like, God. Yeah, fuck, fuck, fuck the special yeah. Fuck the special stages in CD. Oh, They're God. Just, anything that works with Mode 7 just doesn't fucking work in Sonic. No. <laughs> it just doesn't That's... fucking work. Half no, the time when I think I'm going to hit one of the stupid UFOs, I just phase right through it because <laughs> the game thinks that it's not actually there. Now, uh, there is no UFO there, so you cannot hit it. End of story. Yeah, because UFOs don't exist. Except in the beta of Marble Zone. Uh, no, I just meant UFOs don't exist. I know, I know what you meant. I, did, I, despite, I, I reject your reality and substitute my own. Despite UFO not meaning anything that couldn't, pos that couldn't exist, because, <laughs> you know, UFO <laughs> is an acronym. <laughs> Me yeah. Me, yeah. <laughs> just means unknown flying object. I mean, if I saw a bird, unidentified, as it would be a UFO. Unidentified <laughs> flying object. Oh, that would be an IFO. No, unidentified flying object. Oh, I thought you said identified. No. <laughs> Why would I say identified? I don't know. Then it wouldn't it, be uh, a UFO. <laughs> it would be an IFO, I guess. <laughs> Uh, anyway, as I was going to say, we must remember that Sonic CD is a quote-unquote the best Sonic game ever. Oh, bullshit. Despite it not being very fun and being more confusing and annoying. It's but, good, yeah. but it's not that good. Well, yeah, I, I didn't... <laughs> I know you were talking, I'm just saying. Anyways, that's it for this episode of Let's Play Crash Bandicoot The Wrath of Cortex. We shall see you next time when we move on to... Let's find out what we're moving on to... Hopefully next time we can actually talk about this game instead of Sonic. <laughs> Wizards and Lizards, have a good evening or morning or oh. whenever the hell you're watching this. I'm never going to get used to you saying see you next time for Crash Bandicoot. <laughs>